One more thing, David, uh, unless you've got anything else that you think uh, uh, that we're missing here. But uh, I see on the ESPN top 100 100 players in the nation, Kair Elam at uh, 40, Brenton Cox at 59. Seem fair? Um, Brenton Cox has the potential to be. He's got, he's bouncing, bouncing back from an injury. Um, five-star potential, you know, transfer from Georgia. He played hurt last year, played out of position last year. Uh, for, for a little bit. So I think now with Florida getting those transfers at defensive tackle, it allows that whole defensive front to play in their more natural position. I think that's going to benefit somebody like Brenton Cox. I, Mark, I think by the end of the year, Zachary Carter is going to be up there more probably so than, than Brenton Cox. I, I'm I'm very high on Zach Carter, what he brings to the table, uh, playing in a more natural position for him. As I said, you know, Florida struggled with depth up front last year. They had to shift some guys around. Zachary Carter was another guy. He had to play inside more. Uh, more as a defensive tackle instead of a defensive end. He's now with those defensive tackle transfers. He's going to just be stuck at defensive end, his more natural playmaking position. So I think with just that, I think Zachary Carter is going to be up there. And Mark, I'm telling you, it's weird. I mean, think about this. For as bad as Florida's defense was last year, when you look at all SEC, when you look at top 100 players, they're from the defensive side of the ball. Make it make sense, Mark. I mean, you had a you had a god awful defense last year, and when you name Florida's five best players, four of them might be on defense. And some of those guys from that defense last year are playing in the NFL. Marco Wilson's tab right now is having one of the best preseasons in the NFL right now. Who had a terrible year at Florida last year? Make it make sense, Mark. So, uh, you know, so that probably. Probably speaks to Todd Grant them more than anything, and you know we'll see what that means in twenty. That was going to be my answer, David. I was going to say most Gator fans would say I got two words for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you got you you were putting guys in the NFL still. I mean, to Daryl Slayton, TJ Slayton, he's making plays for the Packers right now too. I mean, it it makes no sense, Mark. Like I said, we knew that defense was better than what they played last year. You don't fall that far from from where they fell from. 2018, 2019, and fall all the way down as far as they fell to 2020 without just something major going on uh, behind the scenes. So, you know, we'll see if they can bounce back, be more up to form in 2021, and see if that was a a true outlier of a year. Uh, We got our guy, SEC Dog, of course, a big Georgia fan, uh, commenting in here that uh, David's a good guy, et cetera, et cetera, knows his stuff, but uh, is he going to disappear on us and hide once uh, the season starts? Uh, Believe me. David's been here for four wins, years, Mark, so, yeah. you know, four and seven, four and eight, you know, yeah. um, shoot. I forget the quarterback, uh, 2015, 16, you won the division, but he was awful. Tra- uh, well, you started with real Greer. Sure. And then when you Treon were five Harris. or six and oh, yeah. With right. Will Greer. And, yep. And then Treon Harris comes in. Treon Harris. Yeah. That's the name well, I was yeah. looking for. Yeah, Treon Harris. To make him a pocket passer for whatever reason. Yeah, yes. yeah. Treon Harris. Yep. Yep. Then you have Miguel right. Rio and Malik Zaire. I mean, it's uh, uh hey, it's Malik Zaire. Go. Yeah, transferred to Florida. Yeah. Forgot about yeah. that. I mean, for all the criticism of Dan Mullen, you know, we can have we're not there. We're nowhere near, you know, talking about quarterback position and play action on third and 12 and um, you know, figuring, trying to figure out what's happening at the quarterback position. You know Dan Mullen's going to have an offense ready to go, uh, and you just got to figure out the rest of it. Absolutely. Gators breakdown, great place to be if you're a Florida fan. That, that goes without saying. But if you just track the best teams in the SEC and across the nation, the brands, and you wanna, you're want you a college football nerd, that's why you're here. Uh, check out David's work and the rest of the crew there at Gators Breakdown right here on YouTube and your favorite audio platform. David, you know we always appreciate it. Have a good night. Thanks, Mark.